Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from uh, Charles Manis, uh, KA2ZNP. Okay, and he said, in listening to your explanations on dipole antennas on 20 meters, you recommended that it would perform better in a collinear configuration. Is the octopus antenna hub does, that does dipoles or collinear, please explain. Okay, we've got some confusion over the term collinear. Uh, collinear means, by the way, collinear. There are a lot of words that coal something. The L is almost always doubled, like co-located. Look that up in the dictionary, you'll actually find that. Some people spell it co-located. This is ah, wrong. Uh, look this up in the dictionary. This is the way to do it. Now it turns out that co-linear is spelled this way too, okay, linear. It means in a line. Um, and the context in which I used this was we had a um, 20 meter NFED ZEP. So this is one half wavelength, uh, which is about 33 feet. Okay, and this right here is a one quarter wave um, open wire line, a ladder uh, uh, window line. And it is close to the bottom. So the feed point impedance here is zero. Up here it's supposedly infinity, but it's actually about 2,500 ohms, okay. And so you feed the dipole at the end rather than here. So this is a ZEP antenna, okay? And this is very high impedance. This is zero, and so you find the spot here, which is about 18 or so inches up. You have to look for it. I'm talking 20 meters here. And this is the feed point, okay? And... Uh, I know MFJ with theirs, they just attach a coax connector, and uh, usually that works just fine. When this thing is constructed to the proper dimensions, it is a fabulous 20 meter antenna, okay? Single band, 20 meter antenna. Now, here's something to note. The way this works, this is zero impedance, this is high impedance up here. Uh, on the dipole itself, this is high impedance, low impedance, high impedance. Well, doggone, why not just put another dipole over here? One half lambda, 33 feet. And you don't need to change a thing because the feed mechanism is already set up. Now, the power will divide between the two antennas, okay? So if you got 100 watts over here, you'd have 50 on each uh, going this way. And um, now, the radiation pattern is going to be a little bit weird. Now this is a dipole. The ZEP is a dipole. So you have your dipole this way, and you get this big donut like this. Now if it is... Um, and I'm talking about a horizontal dipole, okay? In actual practice, it's more like this, okay? Now, if you put them in the collinear configuration, they, you, you get some weird patterns. You can get something that looks like this, or you can just get something that's narrower like this. And in either way, you get more directionality. If the dipole is north-south, north-south, you get east-west. And if you put two in parallel, you're going, or two in collinearly, 
you're going to get some narrowing of the beam okay and so you'll have a deeper null in this direction and longer in this direction so if you want to use this to like work European DX you can set it up to do that so that it will work that note that it goes the other way too you lose half the power the other way there are all kinds of things that you can do that are exotic that cause it to go one way but we're not going to talk about them because they are after all exotic now I want to show you something this is the MFJ collinear antenna, okay? It's uh, got, and I had to adjust it to get it to work because it was the wrong dimensions. It was cut wrong. Okay, so I did that and I got the thing to work. And you've got both halves over here, okay? Both halves. And then the rolled up uh, window line for the matching stub. Now this is the, see if I have the yellow sack for it, I do not, it doesn't do much good. <laughs> um, but this right here is the MFG antenna that is built like that, very easy to put up if it's cut right, if it's not cut right, uh, ask MFG for the cutting instructions. Uh, a few inches, five inches, will make a huge difference, okay? The two sides of the antenna must be the same size. I mean, down to the inch, less than an inch, okay? And the length of the matching stub needs to be exactly right, and the feeding point needs to be exactly right. And like I said, the first one I got from MFJ didn't work, so I asked for the cutting instructions. They gave me the cutting instructions, and it worked. worked. Very well, I might add. A very nice way to get a little bit of gain uh, in a direction you're particularly interested in uh, with a very simple wire antenna. And uh, it's built on the old NFEDZ. So there you have it. Um, that's collinear means in a line. Okay? In a line. Now you can do that same thing with um, two meters. Um, you can have, here is one half wavelength, and by the time you get to the whole thing, you're at three halves wavelength. Okay, so you've fed the dipoles, three of the dipoles in a line. That will greatly flatten the pattern, so you'll get more toward the horizon. And uh, this is why you see um, two meter, 70 centimeter uh, antennas that are so long and tall, okay? They're collinear type antennas. They work, work just fine. And uh, they do give you some gain because they flatten the pattern a little bit. So there you have it. If you'd like to help support this channel financially, please go to decastlercom slash support. Please also click like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, especially comments uh, show uh, Google that you are engaged. It's nice to be engaged, isn't it? Um, and until we next meet, 73.